Hey, I'm Bob and I like to make stuff. Today we're gonna turn one of these into these. I've been doing a whole bunch of really big projects lately and I kinda wanna do something fast, something small, and something I can finish in a day. I asked my wife for some ideas and she said that she's always wanted me to make her some wooden spoons. So, I'm gonna do this really quickly. I'm gonna do it with the wood and the tools that I have on hand. And I think I'm gonna start with this big chunk of basswood. Now I don't think I've ever made anything like this before, but I have watched other people do it. So I'm gonna cut this down so that I've got some clean ends. Then on one face, I'm gonna draw out the general shape of the spoons that I want. And after I cut that out on the bandsaw, I'll flip it over on its side and cut that piece into slices. And that'll give me two or possibly even three that are all basically the same shape. From there, I'll go back with some different tools and shape them up to get them nice and smooth. I've got this piece cut down, got the overall shape cut out, but before I chop it down into slices, I wanted to point out that this thing is about four inches thick and you could actually cut this down into four separate pieces and get kind of shallow utensils out of it. I'm gonna do that for two of them. So I'm gonna have two shallow ones, but then I'm gonna leave the other half as one big chunk and that'll give me a lot of bulk here that I can actually carve out and try to make a real spoon that can actually hold a lot of liquid. Let's give it a shot. Here's where we're at. I've got the three pieces cut out down to size and I put some details in these two pieces. This one is a slotted spoon so it'll drain things out and this one's kind of a spork, like a salad spork. And so before I start to round out the outside, I wanna go ahead and round out the inside of these shapes. And to do that, I'm gonna use something I've never used before called a ball gouge. This is the ball gouge. It has a cutting edge on here and it gets spun around because it's attached to an angle grinder. I've never used this before. I've been anxious to try it out so let's see if it works. Now, I don't have a great way to hold this thing in place and carve into that with an angle grinder. So I'm gonna use this big clamp, clamp it down around the piece, and then clamp this whole assembly down to the table so it's nice and secure. I gotta say this thing is kind of intimidating looking and when you turn it on, it's really loud and really fast. So here goes nothing. The ball gouge made really quick work of hollowing out the inside of these pieces, especially the big spoon. Unfortunately, I haven't used it enough to have control over it, so it's kind of hard for me to control, and I found that I got tear out on the surface on all three of these. So I'm gonna have to sand down and work around that tear out. To get the outside shape of these, though, I'm gonna use different tools. I'm gonna use a sander for one, I'll use a bandsaw for another to actually cut down some of the shape, and then I wanna use another tool on the angle grinder called a turbo plane. It's a spinning disc and it's made for cutting down wood similar to the ball gouge, but not really on the inside of a shape. So I'm gonna give that a shot and just kinda of take you along as I try out all these different options.
So here's where we're at with these three pieces. I did these two. You saw me do those, and then my wife ended up cutting this one completely on her own. She cut it on the bandsaw, she used the sanders to smooth it out, and worked on it for quite a while, and it looks way better than mine do. So to finish these up, we're going to cover these with some butcher block oil. This is a mixture of beeswax and vitamin E and mineral oil and stuff like that. It's all food safe, it's what they use on cutting boards and things of that nature. There you go. It's a really simple project. It, it was a lot of fun to just make these, kind of figure it out as I go along, and it was awesome to work on something like this with my wife. She did a great job, and her spoon definitely looks better than mine do. If you learned some stuff or got some inspiration from this video, I would love to hear about it, so please let us know down in the comments. We've got tons of other types of projects that you may want to check out over there, and if you're not subscribed, please go ahead and do that as well. That's it for this one. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. But before I chop this down into individual pieces, I wanted to individual before I chop this down into it into into it I don't know what I'm saying so that's the problem is because I'm not planning ahead <sighs>